regarding our institutions. Uh. Mm, we listen, I've been paying attention to all the institutions in our country. That many of them, uh, almost all of them, are highly politicized, especially I, as a secondary school student, education. You are still a secondary school student? Yes, I am. Okay. And I just want to ask, uh, what can you do, uh, what should be done, and what can you do to undo and improve this, actually bring UBA for our welfare? Okay, I, I suppose the question is about education, right? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Now, you know, we live in a, in a, in a very polarized society in Malaysia. We have Chinese school, Tamil school, national schools, international schools. Now, the, what we've been seeing is that international schools and the private schools have been coming up like mushrooms. And, and that, that, is a, that is a failure, that is a sure sign of a failure by the federal government to provide adequate education for all. Yeah? It's, it's a form of taxation. They collect our income tax but don't solve the education problem and ask you to pay more for education, for the best education available. And uh, this privatization thing must stop. It must stop. Because uh, what the, what the long-term uh, causes of this is, there will be no social mobility. Rich people who can afford to send their kids to the best schools will always remain rich and powerful because they get the best education. That means we don't allow the, the, the poor to come up and we don't allow lazy, rich people to go down. Yeah. So it's very important to revamp the whole education system. But it's a delicate balance because we have two things here. One, we want to recognize diversity for everybody. That means every race should have their, should have their right to their own school. But at the same time, we also want to have national unity where we try to unite all the schools together so that at least my son and my daughter can grow up with friends from all races in Malaysia studying in the same school. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't believe that my, my son and daughter should go to a Chinese school and only have Chinese friends. Yeah? I think that's going to be a problem. So we have, we try to find a solution to this. Now, there's a hard way to do it and there's a soft way to do it. The hard way is to say, let's stop all the other schools and force them all into national school, integrating it. And that's not going to be way, the way forward. It's not going to be the way forward. And that's not what we stand for. The soft way to do this is to try and improve the national schools. Yeah? Try to improve the national schools, give them the best facilities available, give the best teachers there, pay them well, and hopefully the national schools improve, and that in turn will attract the Chinese parents who don't want to see their children suffer through super disciplinary schools in the Chinese schools, carrying 50 kilo back <laughs> to school every day. You know, and hopefully those will start to move back to the to the national schools, and then same for the Tamils as well. If they think uh, they they can they can opt for one or the other, but say that the national school has a swimming pool, and the Tamil school doesn't have one, and the same for the Chinese school doesn't have a swimming pool, then maybe you know my son is not too good at studying, but he can swim like hell. So <laughs> I will opt to send my son to the to the school with the swimming pool facilities. I mean little little things like this. And that's how I think we envision rebuilding national unity. Yeah? And of, of course, all national schools should teach Mandarin and Tamil. It should be a subject matter in there. And it will be, be a waste if we don't do that because, you know, uh, as I said earlier, India and China are big trading blocks and we need to adopt and assimilate as much as possible. So I think that's the softer approach that we want to do. But the bigger picture, of course, is we have to depoliticize education. It's too political. And it upsets everybody because it's so personal to you, because it involves your children, and you love your children dearly, right? So, you know, it becomes too emotional. So we want to get rid of all the politicians and say, look, don't argue about this. Get the educationists in, get really good people, you know, set them, set a new royal commission, ask them to go and find out all the, do all the surveys, Go to Kuda, go to Kota Baru, go to Bentong, all these places and find out the state of national schools. Go to Damansara Heights and see what's the best schools there available. And find a solution for everybody. Yeah, Find a solution for everybody and report back to the people. And hopefully we can have a referendum where everybody has a right to decide. And once we have that referendum, please, once the referendum is done, let's unite and just get on with it. Okay? Can we do that? Thank you very much. Okay.